Hello everyone, welcome back to Scented Moments channel. My name is Joel Lima and today I will do a review of a fragrance from the house of Chanel and the fragrance is Platinum Egoist. This one right here featured on my top 10 best spring fragrances. I will leave the link here so you can check that video out if you have yet to. This one, I just can't get enough of this gorgeous fragrance. As you can see, I already wore this one a lot during this past couple of years. Platinum Egoist is a creation of Jacques Poge back in 1993. This is simple, it's not opulent whatsoever, it's not sweet, but it's gorgeous in its simple way. And it's quite modern and sophisticated as it is right now. Considering the modern perfumery, this that overwhelming sweet or brox and bombs, I think this one is the white knight amongst that trend. So for the notes we have, I'll read you the notes here. On the top notes you have lavender, neroli, peachy grain and rosemary. On the hard notes you have galbanum, geranium, jasmine and clary sage. And in the base you have amber, oak moss, sandalwood, vetiver and cedar. So this is, as you can see, it's a very fresh, floral, green and slightly woody fragrance. This starts with a blast of lavender and it has a metallic feel that everyone talks about and that's the main reason why not all guys will enjoy this one. Because the metallic can be very harsh and I can see that I don't like metallic accords in fragrances, that's one of the reasons why I don't like uh, Sylvan Mountain Water by Creed, for example. Uh, but in this case, I don't know, it has something in here that it's just so sophisticated and even sexy, I would say. I don't know, that's something in here that I really enjoy. So in the opening you have this blast of lavender and that metallic feel with a very touch of a soapiness. Uh, this has a barbershop-ish type of uh, vibe, uh, but it's not entirely a barbershop as we know. Or if you consider this a barbershop, then it's a modern barbershop fragrance. And then when it starts to develop, you get this very heavy white floral accords with a green aspect into it. Uh, you, I can't, at least to my nose, I can't detect the, what specific floral it is, but I think it's the blend of this jasmine, the rosemary, the geranium that creates this uh, overall floral accord. In the end, when this it sets very close to the skin, you, you get a very slight touch of a woody uh, quartz, but it's very subtle. The prominent notes here are this lavender metallic feel, which goes throughout the life of this fragrance of course it's even if you don't like this metallic feel it starts to die down when this starts to set closer to your skin but nonetheless it will always be present throughout the life of this fragrance and even the cap suggests that metallic feel um, there's no sweetness in here so if you have a sweet tooth or if you just like sweet fragrances so maybe this one is not for you but nonetheless try this one uh, it's different from what you can purchase now in the perfumer shops out there I think this one like I told you in the beginning it's a white knight amongst the trendy fragrances out there it's very modern and you can pull a lot of compliments with this one because it's that unique in my opinion. Oh, and of course this has a retro feel. It, this smells a lot like the 90s. I can't explain to you how that smells but for me it just has that kind of vibe. I don't know. But it truly has. If you try this one, I think you can see what I'm trying to say here. Um, in terms of seasons and occasions, I think this is perfect for spring, definitely. This is perfect for summer and also for the hotter days of fall. But I think you can wear this through the entire year and you can wear this in all type of occasions. This is a Swiss Army type of fragrance. So you can pull this one in all type of occasions and through the entire year. 
people will compliment you, you will get noticed. And just because this is a fresh, aromatic, floral fragrance, this still has a good performance. At least on my skin, I get a solid 8 hours longevity with a nice sillage and a great projection in the, couple, in the first couple of hours. So this is a fantastic fragrance, especially now for the upcoming spring. Check this one out if you have yet to. Platinum Egoist by Chanel, fantastic fragrance, can't get enough of this one. Guys, tell me in the comments down below if you already tried Platinum Egoist, if you like this fragrance, if you don't like. And of course, like always, see you in the next video. Take care, ciao.